Good evening. Epinita's family is mourning the loss of their loved one. He drowned while trying to save his daughter who was struggling in the waters at Falcon Lake. Channel 5's Anangiano reports at 10. What was supposed to be a Saturday afternoon of fun turned into panic and grief for the Sandoval family. Their daughter would have drowned if her father had not jumped in to save her, costing him his life. You would tell me I love your smile. You have a beautiful smile. This past Saturday turned into something Erica Sandoval never dreamed could happen. We would go every time we had a weekend off. That was our family time. Erica says it was a normal family outing. She and her daughter were cooling off in the water. Her three other children were on the shoreline playing with a ball when that went into the water. The ball went a little too far. She tried getting it. She tried going after the ball and she was having trouble coming back and he just went in after. Erica says although her husband Juan could swim, he began to struggle too. My father-in-law went in to help. He grabbed her, but he couldn't grab him. A family with a boat tried to help them, but it was too late. They couldn't find him. They just kept searching, but they couldn't find him. It would be three hours before Juan's body would be pulled from the water. Lieutenant Michael Luna, McAllen firefighter and member of Texas Task Force One Water Rescue, says open water can be dangerous. The risk with open water swimming, especially in lakes of, of that nature or canals, uh, you never know what's underneath the water. The concern is more than just the debris or marine life lurking below. Lake areas can have undertows. By the time they would feel the undertow, it would already be too late. The Sandoval family are holding each other close tonight. He was a good person. While mourning the loss of the man who was not only their sole provider, but the glue that kept their family together. Ana Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 10.